Russia has criticized the United Nations decision to rescind an invitation to Iran to participate in peace talks on Syria this week. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov has described the decision as a mistake. It is certainly a mistake, I said this before, but no catastrophe has occurred. In this case, we are speaking about a one-day event on January 22nd, to which some 40 foreign ministers from different states, including the most remote regions, have been invited. Sergei Lavrov said that the presence of all regional players was at the basis of the Russia-US initiative to hold an international peace conference on Syria. The UN chief invited Iran to attend Geneva too, which Iran accepted on Monday. But the Syrian National Coalition issued an ultimatum refusing to go if Iran was present. This resulted in Ban Ki-moon withdrawing Iran's invitation. The foreign minister has criticized the SNC for this ultimatum. He also dismissed claims about reports of systematic abuse in Syria. I have not seen these photographs, but I have seen previous reports which turned out untrue. It is part of an information war. We must remember that in this conflict war crimes are committed by both sides. It must be investigated. During his press conference, the foreign minister answered a total of 25 questions in little over two hours. On the progress on Iranian nuclear program, Lavrov said that the US and EU sanctions against Iran should be lifted as soon as possible. The Russian Foreign Minister's press conference covered a wide range of questions addressing the most important issues around the world. The upcoming Geneva II peace conference on Syria was among the key topics. But Sergei Lavrov touched upon issues closer to home as well, such as Ukraine and Georgia. Judah Libova, Press TV, Moscow.